I'm shocked, you guys. I'm so shocked this can't be. <laughs> Not that this is funny at all. It's just that I called their stuff out a long time ago. Of course I would take it seriously. This is the guy that you would expect this to, you know, them to do this stuff because of their actions of whip it out, you know, that thing. And doesn't care about doing stuff in front of kids. And actually, we've been looking at that because I was like, I think all these guys just whatever with kids too because they just don't care generally but anyway he got sued why did he get sued this story is actually crazy because beyond you know the other stuff but it goes tommy lee forced himself on a woman in a helicopter cockpit groping her kissing her and penetrating her against her consent according to a new lawsuit 1000 percent believe this <laughs> The Molly Crew rocker is being sued by a woman who says the alleged sexual assault happened way back in February 2003 when she was riding in a chopper with Tommy and another man. I mean, this is another reason to, like, never fly the story right here. Um, in the lawsuit obtained by TMZ, the woman says she was friends with the helicopter pilot. And he invited her on a tour of San Diego County. I told you there's hell in San Diego. This is where some stuff happened when I went out there with the other team. But when she got to the airfield, Tommy was there. And she was told the plans changed and they would all three be riding up to Los Angeles. Oh, a little, a little abduction here, right? I've been talking about this. These guys will literally kidnap you. It's like, did you consent to do this? absolutely not they have literally no concept of this they'll just take you somewhere against your will right that's one the woman claimed she felt pressured to go and did you have a choice <laughs> and once airborne she says tommy and the pilot started drinking alcohol smoking weed and snorting coke the pilot is not dri driving under the influence of flying under the influence i will not fly if these son of uh, no way but, but anyways you're got you guys are lucky you're alive i mean i don't just that portion okay in the documents the woman says the men pressured her to come up to the cockpit and sit on tommy's lap and as soon as she obliged she says tommy forced himself on her the woman claims Tommy began groping and kissing her, but when she tried to pull away, he became more forceful. Yeah, you're in a cockpit <laughs> with two guy, these guys, and are, it sounds like she's the only woman alone on here. There's no way in hell, and they're under the influence. No way. No, this would be panic attack city for me, and I would be ra trying to radio and somebody help us all. She claims he penetrated her with his fingers while fondling her breast in the suit. Oh, totally. I, in the suit, the woman claims Tommy also pulled down his pants. Whip it out. That's Tommy. Whip it out. That's him. So it fits his character, as, you know, his character. So, and then it says, an attempted to force her head down into a general, a general. Okay, so then she says that when they got to Los Angeles, Tommy, Tommy. <laughs> Tommy hugged her and bounced, and then the pilot flew back to San Diego in silence. That's dang weird. In the dock, she says the alleged incident left her feeling shock, distress, humiliation, shame, and guilt, claiming she didn't go to the cops because she didn't think she would be taken seriously. Well, no, they would go, oh, you should have expected it. He's a rock star. This is what Tommy does. He's a total sociopath rapist, dude. It's like, yeah, and then indecent exposure and about a million other things, right? And then, and drugs, right? That thing. So since the alleged incident, the woman says she suffered from anxiety, depression, PTSD, and other physical and psychological harms. And she's going after Tommy for damages. We reached out to Tommy's camp. So far, no word back. Whip it out! <laughs> it's like... Wait, what was this? I, I don't know. I'm just going to leave it at that because th there's been a long history with these guys and every single one of them. And who is like the big enabler in here? Uh, Pamela. It's like, gee, I mean, at least like you guys are not even together anymore. You know, therapy, man. Like these people are terrible. They're terrible. I'm telling you, these people are horrific. This is not normal. 
and uh these people should have been arrested like a million years ago and you know er everybody in this is just going on like this yeah they're so shit pots that's what it is um uh, so i guess there's some women in here that just love rapists <laughs> i mean not this not this victim here but because the conduct, that's what I'm saying, it's like they get around and then these women are like, it's totally fine that they do all this stuff against my will. Um, I think he's hot. You know, it's like this thing and then I'll go meet him. Luckily, luckily when I did meet him, um, he was too much of a jerk. Like he's too much of an ego, right? He he was like, I think he was dating. Who was it that he was dating at the time? It might have been Pamela or it was uh, uh, Bobby What or it was in the middle of that whole thing um somebody <laughs> like somebody i think he was with somebody but he was just kind of off more about hey i'm here look at me and whatever i i don't know that was a, the uh attitude of his and then nikki was the asshole and then the other two were totally fine and that wasn't when vince was there that was a different time so no, because all the other conduct throughout this thing, and then when you go back into their 80s portion, uh, no. 